No legit here at the Corner Oyster House. Get stuff in here, yeah. Welcome to No Legend. Let the good times roll. In this episode of our New Orleans Restaurant Review, first we feast with me on some New Orleans food and the New Orleans French Quarter at the Corner Oyster House as we enjoy this New Orleans Cajun and Creole food restaurant review video. The Corner Oyster House is located in a prime spot right next to Jackson Square and the New Orleans French Quarter at 500 St. Peter. In our New Orleans Cajun and Creole food review video, we will enjoy a French Quarter lunch and find the answer to the New Orleans question of why eat in the French Quarter. The answer is because there is a lot of good food, good times, and good people. The Corner Oyster House is a popular place with many tourists and a few locals to get some New Orleans Cajun and Creole food. This is also one of the main sports bars in the French Quarter, as they have 15 televisions, and back in 2010, I actually watched the New Orleans Saints win Super Bowl 44 here. The Corner Oyster House also has an impressive collection of team flags hanging from their ceiling, and you'll often see many fans here on game days. So we're heading right towards Jackson Square right now, and then we're just turning in to go inside and check this place out. As you look around, you can see all of the sports teams flags up there. They have a whole lot of SEC college team flags there. And then there's a lot of people in the restaurant. Life is returning to the French Quarter after the long shutdowns, and it has started to get busy again, so it is great to see people out, although crowds are still not back to fully normal levels. Well, let's check out the menu now and decide what we're going to get to eat today. So we see that at the top we've got Louisiana oysters on the half shell, a dozen, a half dozen, market price. Drunken oyster shooter, a fresh gulf oyster submerged in our adult homemade Bloody Mary. And our house favorites are bacon wrapped gulf oysters, gulf oysters Alfredo, oyster platter, gulf oysters fried perfection, best char grilled oysters ever. But for appetizers, we have Decatur Gator, the best bite on the Bayou, baby alligator tail filet. Craig's crawfish and crab cake, Cajun crawfish pie, mushrooms chopped tulips, Gabrielle's barbecue shrimp, spinach and artichoke dip with nachos, from the boiling pot, boiled shrimp, boiled Louisiana crawfish, we have gumbo with chicken and sausage gumbo, seafood gumbo, and gumbo do, which is a mix of chicken and sausage and the seafood gumbo together. And then a gumbalaya, which is a mix of jambalaya and gumbo. Then on the next page, we have a selection of salads with a green salad, vegetable salad, small Caesar, club salad, muffaletta salad, grilled or blackened salad, the corner fried salad, and then po' boys with a hot roast beef. Fried seafood po' boys with popcorn shrimp, southern catfish filet, gulf oyster, the half and half, grand slam sandwiches, the burger, chicken breast, smoked sausage po' boy, the corner club, famous muffaletta, and then quesadillas. Then on the next page, we have Creole New Orleans with red beans and rice with smoked sausage, shrimp creole, creole jambalaya, the New Orleans sampler, start with a cup of our chicken gumbo, followed by shrimp creole, red beans, jambalaya, and a couple of crispy fried gulf shrimp, finished with a little lad yap, our homemade bread pudding with rum sauce, Cajun country classics with etouffee, with chicken, crawfish, shrimp, fried gulf oyster, then we have a half and half combination, a combination of crawfish etouffee and shrimp creole served over rice, catfish to cater, crawfish home run chicken, a generous chicken breast topped with crawfish tail, peppers, and mushrooms, sauteed in our rich creamy crawfish reduction, and served over steamed rice. Fried seafood platters, all of our generous platters are served with french fries, coleslaw, cocktail, and tartar sauces. So there's catfish, butterfly shrimp, gulf oyster, or you can choose two. And then the platter, where it has a portion of each. Corner pasta bowls, the bayou pasta with crawfish tail, sauteed with onions, pepper, celery, and garlic. Mardi Gras pasta, shrimp and spicy sausage. Shrimp Alfredo pasta, panade chicken pasta, pasta poncha train, which is crawfish and crab cakes with linguine, a gridiron grill, blackened or barbecue ribs, ribeye steak, chicken breast, barbecue chicken and ribs. Then on the next page, we have breakfast on the square and they do serve breakfast here all day. So they have a selection of house specialty omelets with the Raging Cajun, Creole Jambalaya and cheese, the Bayou omelet, traditional omelets, plain three egg omelet, cheese omelet, ham omelet, ham and cheese, the meat lover, 
Veggie Delight, breakfast favorites, the corner starter, two scrambled eggs, grits or hash browns, and toast with a choice of hand bacon or sausage, a breakfast quesadilla, a big easy breakfast sandwich, a buttery croissant layered with scrambled eggs, melted cheese, and your choice of hand bacon or sausage, served with southern grits or hash brown potatoes, sweet treats and beignet fries, a pain pardieu, lost bread, thick slices of French bread, dipped in egg batter, sauteed until golden and dusted with powdered sugar, Belgian waffle, beignet fries, breakfast sides and extras, ham, sausage, or bacon, two scrambled eggs, white or wheat toast, grits or hash browns. Okay, so I decided that I was gonna start out with a seafood gumbo, and this gumbo looks like there's a whole lot of rice in here. So it looks like it's more rice than gumbo. Let's stir it around and see what all else is in here. So, in the French Quarter, we do have some tourist traps you gotta look out for, and this looks like one of them. I'm not seeing very much seafood in here at all. So, this is mostly rice with a little bit of roux, and so far, I'm not finding any shrimp. Oh, there we go. One shrimp right there, a tiny little itty bitty shrimp. This is a tourist trap gumbo. So, can't recommend this gumbo with an itty bitty shrimp like this because it's just not worth your money. Let's give it a taste. So flavor wise, the roux is good, the flavor is good, but the paltry amount of seafood in here sadly just makes this not worth the price. For my main entree, I selected the crawfish home run chicken, which is a chicken breast topped with crawfish tails, peppers, and mushrooms, and a crawfish reduction sauce over white rice. There's a good amount of chicken in here and some really big crawfish tails, so this does seem to be a much better value than the gumbo. Look at that huge crawfish tail. And oh yes, it's cooked perfectly, a really delicious dish. I enjoyed that, I'd get that again. So the total for my meal was $32.03 before tip. So the seafood gumbo most certainly was not worth the price for that tiny little bowl of gumbo with only one tiny little shrimp in it. While the crawfish home run chicken was really great and I would get that again. So thanks so much to everybody at the Corner Oyster House for some really fun times during sporting events and for that crawfish home run chicken, but you gotta work on that seafood gumbo. And thanks so much to all of you for tuning into the Nola Gent channel, especially my Patreon. So go ahead and smash that thumbs up like button and totally destroy that subscribe button. And if you could also share this video with any of your friends or contacts, that really would help me and I really would appreciate it. But go ahead and comment below and let me know what you thought about this video. While you're down there, check out the link to my Patreon account because hey, I work for tips and I appreciate any assistance with that. So make sure to tune in next time for more good food, good times, and good people. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. And if you would just click on the little circle here with a picture of my head in there and subscribe to the Nola Jet channel, it would really help me a lot. I really appreciate it. Thank you.